In this video, I will show you how to set up Webfast Server for use with Webfast Pro 3 and Webfast Pro 4. So here I'm in Webfast Server. I will start with the translation memory. So I'll go to the TMs tab. I'll call my first TM Metso TM ENFR. It's English to French. I will leave the password field empty. This is important. Otherwise, uh, Webfast Pro will not be able to write to this TM. I will check write, unrestricted is also ticked, and I will now point to my TM. It's located in this folder, so this is this file. Open and add. Now I'm asked whether I want to reorganize, yes, and I'm done. Next, I will create a second TM that I will call Nordic TM ENFR. Again, write unrestricted, I will point to the other file, which is this one, open, add, and again reorganize. Now I'm done with TMs, I will switch to glossaries. I will call my first glossary Metsoglo ENFR. Again, write unrestricted. I will point to the file name, which is now in this folder here. The file type is a text, so it's the standard WordFast Classic glossary. And this is my file, open and add. Again, password field empty, add and reorganize. I'll do the same with the other glossary. So it's Nordic Glow ENFR. I will point to the file. It's this one. Open, add and reorganize. So now I've got my TMs and glossaries uh, set up. I will switch to accounts. My first account will be called uh, Mezzo ENFR. The number e here is the number of simultaneous users. It has to be twice the actual number of users. So if you have five users, you will enter 10. Password, here you have to enter a password. So I'll enter password. If you leave it empty, you will not be able to use that TM in WordPress Pro 4. This number here is the priority level. We will leave it to 10. Now TM, I will point to the first TM, Mezzo. Assign, same with glossary, so it's this one, assign. I will tick write TM and write glossary so that I'm able to add entries to it and I will add that account. Now we'll do the same with Nordic. The TM is this one and the glossary is this one. Again, write TM, write glossary. The password will be the same, password and I will add this. So now I'm done. If I go back to Metso, what I can do here, I can select the IP address of my host running WordFast server. And if I click on this button here, this will copy the connection string that can be used in WordFast Pro. So I can paste it here. And this is the string that I can use to set up my TMs and glossaries in WordFast Pro 3 and WordFast Pro 4. So now I'm going to switch to WordFast Pro. Now I'm on a second computer running WordFast Pro 3 and I will set up my remote TM running on WordPress server and remote glossary. So I'll select uh, transition memory, new select TM, add TM. Then here I'll select uh, WF server. This is the string that I got from WordPress server. So I will copy it and I will paste it in the URL field here. I will test it's okay and it's successful. So I can click on OK and my TM is now set up. Next, I will switch to Glossary. So I'll click on Add, again WF Server. Unfortunately for Glossaries, it's not possible to paste the URL directly here. So I will have to enter all the components one by one. The symbolic name of my Glossary will be Metso ENFR. The IP address will be this one. The port, the default port in WordPress server is 47110. The username is the same as the account name in WordPress server. So it's Metso ENFR. The password was password. I'll test that it's OK. Yes. And now I can click on OK. So OK. Now I have a remote TM and real remote glossary set up and I can open a file. 
and I can see that I have uh, a match from the TM, so it's uh, this one, and I also have terminology that is recognized. So, for instance, vibrating screen, it's crib vibrant in French. I can add terminology. So, if I had composant here, I could add the term pair components. I'll press Ctrl Alt T, and now I'll select composant again. Ctrl Alt T and I can add this term to the glossary. Next, I'll switch to WordFast Pro 4. In WordFast Pro 4, under Project TM, I will select Connect to Remote. I will select WF Server. I will give as the symbolic name Metso ENFR. And in the URL field, I will copy-paste my URL. I will test it. It's working. OK. I noticed that my TM is read-only, so I'll modify it and I will untick read-only, OK? And now I will be able to add entries to that remote TM. So there you have it, how to set up WordFast Server for use with WordFast Pro 3 and WordFast Pro 4.